welcome to my youtube channel so today our topic is the dynamic areas in c++ that what are these dynamic areas and why do we use them in the previous uh, video we covered the static areas and in today's uh, video we are going to cover the concept of uh, dynamic areas in c++ so let's get started just open a new file in your favorite c++ ide and once you are here, first of all, let's just include those basics of every C++ program. That is the input-output stream. And after that, I'm going to say using namespace. And actually, this means that for every C out, I am going to uh, use my standard output device as the source of display, or you can say as my console. And after that, uh, the main function where we will be uh, writing the main code. So let's try a program or a C++ task in which we have to manually ask the uh, user to give us the minimum and maximum size of the array and based on those sizes minimum and maximum which are given as an input by the uh, user we are going to make those dynamic arrays based on those sizes so let's say i should say that i have a variable of the type integer let's say one is by the name min which means maximum and the second uh, variable is by the name max which means maximum and now let me take these two variables as an input from the user so it's simple i'm going to say see out uh, see out let's say this will determine that enter minimum array size yeah and after that let's say I should end this line here and I'm going to say C in minimum so I am done with this and for the maximum let me just copy this from here and just paste it here and let's say this will say that enter maximum maximum array size and here I should say C in max yeah and once when I am done with that I'm going to tell you that how can we make a dynamic array based on this size which is by the name min any minimum and how can we create a dynamic array based on this entry so this is the syntax of a dynamic array first of all we write the data type of the dynamic array so let's say if that is of the data type integer after that we use a static and after the static comes the name of that dynamic array let's say the name of that dynamic array is let's say arr this is the name of that dynamic array and this is equal to new this new is basically uh, used for the concept of dynamic array in c++ and there is also of the type integer and herein we are going to plug in the or you can say to put the size of the array so basically the first one is the minimum array and this minimum is defined here which is of the data, data type integer and this is given as an input by the user so we are going to write here minimum yeah and once when we are done here we are going to take those entries as an input by the user so for that we are going to use a for loop as we used it in the previous video for the static arrays after this let's I should just say that c out let's say it just give me a prompt that enter and after that let's say min which is the value given by the user which is the size of the minimum array enter minimum numbers and after that I'm going to end this line here and now I am going to use the for loop in order to get those entries as an input by the user so let's just say for integer i equals 0 i less than minimum and i plus plus and I'm going to increment it as we do in a for loop and after that I'm going to say c in 
this is the name of the array which I have defined here of this dynamic array yeah? and i is the iteration of this loop and now in order to display all those entries which are given by the user as an input I am going to use a for loop once again so let me just copy this from here and just paste it here and after that just I'm going to change this from C in to C out and I'm going to invert these like this and I am done with this minimum array part yeah and after that I'm going to say delete and this two square brackets and I and after that comes the name of the dynamic array which is ARR in my case even if you don't do this step basically this is a good practice to do this and in most of the cases of dynamic array you will see this step involved like when we create our, our uh, we give some new space to a dynamic array then after uh, using that space we are going to delete that space so that we can create other dynamic arrays and after that let me just create a new array which is based on the maximum size given by the user as an input here yeah so I can do it easily just the same let's say that second dynamic array is of the data type integer and after that comes the static and after this comes the name of the array let's say it is arr1 yeah and this is equal to nev int and after this I'm going to type here max because this is the maximum size of the array given by the user so after that let me just write the same here that see out enter this is going to say that enter max and numbers and after that in this line here and now to take this maximum number of entries and store it here in this dynamic array I'm going to use a for loop as the same as I used above yeah so let me just copy this from here and let me just paste it in order to make it easy for me yeah and I'm going to change this minimum now to maximum and the name of the array is now arr1 yeah and also I'm going to change this to maximum and the name of our array is arr1 yeah and after that I'm going to repeat the same step and I'm going to delete this dynamic array to free up the space which is now taken in the memory so after this step that space which is being used in that memory that is being freed up and the name of the array is arr1 yeah so this is how you can create basically you can create uh, dynamic arrays based on the choices of the user so now let's try to run this code just give it any name and run this now you can see it's asking me that enter minimum array size yeah so let me just that the minimum array size is 5 and let's say the maximum array size is 10 yeah now you can see this is asking me that enter five numbers which is the size of the minimum size given by the user or you can say which is the size of the minimum array yeah let me just enter five numbers you can see all those five numbers are displayed here which is which are those numbers which are given as an input by the user and after that you can see this asking me that enter 10 numbers which is the size of the maximum array yeah let me just enter 10 numbers here 8 9 and 7 yeah you can see all these numbers which are which were given by the uh, user as an input are displayed here at the output so these were some basic concepts of dynamic arrays in c++ thank you for watching and see you next time